Welcome back my gorgeous gorgeous girls to my channel This is week 4 or the last week of the sweet green challenge where I eat sweet green for 30 days using this new sweet pass At the end of the video I will reveal my weight, total financial costs for the week and then the whole month and also my rankings for the salads for this week but also the whole month overall as well so i hope you tune in all the way till the end you'll see a bunch of me eating sweet green and then other aspects of my life so hopefully that'll be enjoyable too but in one of my unboxings i bought these fridge organizers and i'm so into them right now they look they make my refrigerator just look so much more organized and cute I highly, highly recommend. I'll li link them down below if you are interested. So I just ordered my sweet green bowl and I'm gonna pick it up around six because I have a accountability, accountability session with my friend Sunny and Steph where we work for two hours on our personal goals. Heading out to get my bowl from sweet green. I got the miso bowl because as you saw from last week's video, I've been getting a little bit sick of the salad, so I think I'm going to return to choosing the ones I really, really like so that it's sustainable for the rest of the week. Hey guys, I'm finally back from the long, long walk, and I got my miso bowl, and I'm about to eat this and watch a new show called Sex Lives of College Girls. It's by, it's by Mindy Kaling. Also, as you can see, I'm like breaking out a lot, and I'm going to a laser facial tomorrow and i'll take you guys with me but me and my friend steph go to this place called skin laundry and i actually have a referral code and i'll put it down below if you guys want a free laser facial i have had like 10 different friends try the laser facial and they love it and some of them have also gotten memberships too but yeah i love it so i'm going to that tomorrow so i'll show you guys good morning it is monday day 23 and we are going to take our weight right now before we go to yoga. The week weight. Still 131. Guys, so these blueberries. I bought this veggie wash and my mom uses it all the time. But It's absolutely insane. I've tried it, but I want to show you on camera. Watch. And it looks completely different. Like all the wax. Isn't that insane? You guys need this veggie wash. I'm gonna like link it down below. But it's so crazy. It removes the wax, it removes the pesticides and soil. Like I've never seen blueberries this clean. Wow. So as you guys can see, I've had that one. I haven't had this one off the seasonal. I've had that one. I haven't had this one. And I haven't had this one. But I have had that one. And then I've had everything on their like set menu so this week i'm going to finish out the entire menu on week four is anyone sad that the sweet green challenge is almost over i'm thinking about what i should do for february let me know or text me if you have any preferences on what you want to see my friend tiffany asked me like what are some of the learnings i've had thus far and one of them is when i eat sweet green for lunch and then just like eat whatever for dinner i still get bloated the next day but when i eat sweet green for dinner i don't get bloated so like a salad for dinner really really helps me with my bloat and i think that's one of like the bigger takeaways still tbd on like how it affects your weight and everything so you'll see that at the end Hey guys, walking home from Sweet Green. I got it here and I'm going through Domino Park today. I actually found a couple of cool things like the boba tea that's opening up. The emoji tea, there's no bubble tea. There used to be a cocoa here, but it, it went away due to COVID. But the fact that emoji tea is open and coming in, that is so freaking exciting to me. Second, the Trader Joe's. I haven't been yet because I didn't think it was open, but it's open. So I'm so excited about that. I just love my area so much. I can't really imagine myself moving out of this area ever. I want to also shout out my friends Kathy and Rachel who also watch my vloggity vlogs and that's a shout out for this week. 5k steps done for today. This is lunch, turkey sandwich with veggies, hummus, and tzatziki. Guys, 
it's 5 p.m. now, so I'm gonna eat my chickpea avocado bowl. It's around 5.30, which is when the sun sets now, so I'm gonna eat this, keep working for the next two hours, and then I have a facial today, which I will take you guys to. Right now I'm heading to my facial. I could not film in there, but look how red it got. It like literally, I got the carbon facial. So there's a signature, a carbon, and a fractional. And I got the carbon. I have decided my life does not just exist on the weekend. So I'm gonna do stuff for me on the weekdays. So I'm gonna go inside the new Trader Joe's. Good morning, today is day 24 and I'm doing a quick body check in the same outfit that I always use. Feeling a little bloated today, but I'm about to head to Inferno Hot Pilates and then start my work day. Hello my beautiful people of the internet, I haven't checked in that much today because I've just been working, 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 but I'm about to go grab my sweet green and eat that for dinner the plan for tonight of a k-pop dance class at six that's why i have to like leave pretty fast and go grab it and come back and dance morning guys it is wednesday february 2nd day 25 of this challenge guys, so i can't really unbox this but i got a new shelf organizer really excited because i'm gonna put a tv on top to really like complete my room so i am all about you know wellness health and all these things. You know, I love things like humidifiers, ball of bangle, hair care, skin care, all of these wellness things that will lower your cortisol. But another wellness thing that I've heard about is that when you go to sleep at night, to of course like put your phone away by like two hours before you go to sleep. But I got this. It was literally like $10 on Walmart and it's like a strip LED light and I was going to put it like at the bottom of my island because apparently red light really, really helps with getting you ready to sleep. I'm turning all the lights off at night and it's just like red and I'm like in my bed reading. Oh, it's just gonna be so good. This is so... Okay, I need to get the remote. I don't want this fucking strobe light experience right now. Red. Right now. That is so insane. Like imagine me oh my god i am so obsessed with this so if you guys want this i will link this down below it was so easy you tape and then you just plug it in amazing today i'm also gonna pick up a tv as i mentioned oh i want to show you where i want to put it up this area here and i got my tv i'm gonna wipe it down because i don't know if it has germs and like dust and everything guys i'm eating my steelhead remote blah 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 and watching Netflix. Hi guys, welcome to day 26. The TaskRabbit guy just came and left this morning. He came around 8.30, it is now like nine, but this is what he did. It's so amazing, I'm so excited. Realize the final level, like the final boss of becoming an adult is getting so much serotonin from interior design and like decorating your home. Guys, I ordered the very last sweet green salad that I have never tried, the potato salad salad. I am not that excited to have it. It's raining all day today, 100%. I'm so annoyed. Okay, then I'll wear rain boots and bring a bring an umbrella. Oh, I really don't wanna go outside in the rain. Oh, oh hi. God. That's Jerry, he's so nice. He opens the door for me all the time. I don't know if you guys can see the rain. Yeah. What? So, let's go ahead and do some hacking. Guys, look at this coma. This is absolutely hot. Insane. Look at that caramelization. This is my Jenny. My Jenny, my friend Jenny Minju taught me how to do it. It's so easy. You just get kuma, put it in the thing for an hour. I just do 500 for an hour and it comes out perfectly, but she does 425 for 30 minutes and then 500 for the other 30 minutes. And it's just so good. 
Good morning, y'all. It is Friday, day 27. Tomorrow's day 28, but I'm gonna keep going until day 30 to finish it. I know I have an unboxing in every single video, I swear. I do not have a, I might have a shopping problem, but um, this is a package I got today. So it's from Brooklinen. I do not have my own code for Brooklinen, but there's so many online. I'll put like a coupon code for like, I think there's so many like 20% off or $20 off coupon codes because I use that too. But it's basically like a sheet I got. It's so cute. It comes like this. It is their Mulberry Silk pillowcase. I got the king size because as you guys know from my last video, I got a king size pillow from Coop, which I've been really liking. I think I need to take a little, I took a lot of fluff out already because I sleep on my side, but I think I'm gonna take out a little bit more. I love that it's adjustable. Oh my God, look, there's like a little bee here. It's really good for your hair. It's really good for your skin. So I'm gonna go put it on my bed. Why did I ever use a normal one? Like it's almost the size of a body pillow. Ta -da! My room is actually so disgusting right now. What? How does it get disgusting literally every week? I think it's because the space is so small. Okay, I have to pee. <laughs> so, my hair care routine has gotten so good as of recently, and I really have to shout out my friends Meg and Steph McKean, who taught me about Olaplex and taught me that it wasn't just for blonde girls, because I swear to God, I thought it was just for blondies. Um, there's like a full Twitter chain when I'm like talking to Olaplex and they're like recommending me basically number three and it's this leave-in mask and it's like this huge thing on TikTok too where you damp your hair um, in the morning and then you put on the mask and you just like leave it in you know like a claw clip or something just leave it in here and then at the end of the workday you wash it off it's like minimum 10 minutes but you can keep it in as long as you want but that has totally changed like the feel of my hair like it's my hair has always been like sleek and shiny but it has never been soft and it's so freaking soft and i haven't been doing anything different because i always use my sour apple head and shoulders and i use my whey or briogeo hair oil so i haven't done anything different and those two those two things i think is like the biggest deal for my hair care and then my Silk pillow is gonna make it even better. Go away. So She's back at it again with another unboxing. Let's see what it is. Oh my god, it is my Taylor Swift. I ordered this when Red Taylor's version came out. It's finally here. Fuck the patriarchy keychain on the ground. Oh my god. Oh my god. Literally. I only have two friends who like love Taylor. No, I have three. I have Mary Jo, I have Jennifer, Tom from church, and Connie. And I think they would love the cardigan. Good morning guys, welcome back. And it is day 28. Even though today is Saturday, it's technically the end of the four weeks. I'm gonna also film Sunday and Monday to do the full 30 days and then show you guys my final weight but otherwise um i'll take you guys on the rest of the day i'm feeling good i'm feeling fed now i'm eating my leftover hot honey chicken plate hi guys i just got back from a working session with seth and sunny we went to pink frog like you saw and we also randomly um told Jimmy and Sherry to come as well, so hi you guys. And now I'm just getting ready to go to my friend Prosh's place. We're gonna record a podcast. Um, it's not like, it's like a podcast for our friends, but if you are interested, I'll leave the link in the description. And then we're just gonna pregame there as we just talk and stuff. And then we're gonna go to a birthday party. Yeah, I actually got a sweet green that is Steph Lee's favorite. It is uh, kale Caesar with crispy rice and spicy broccoli with hot sauce. So I'm really excited to try that and eat that. I'm getting ready right now, but I just wanted to give you guys that update. Hey guys, right now I'm going to have dinner with Christy and Leah. It is Sunday. Hopefully I'll fend off some Sunday scaries to see some of my friends before we start the work week. Okay, it's really loud because of the train. I'll talk to you guys when I get there. 
Um, hi guys, it is the last day, day 30. Thank you for making it this far for me. I'm about to go weigh myself right now, show you that, and then we'll dive into rankings and all the costs and everything. So my weight is 129, which is really exciting. I lost five pounds off of this one month challenge. Last bowl, it's going to be a harvest bowl, which is just so fitting. The cult classic, the ultimate fave, the ultimate bias. And we'll dive into the, the conclusions. So let's start with the rankings. My number one bowl is actually such a surprise to me. It's the miso bowl. I loved it so much. It's on their seasonal menu. So if you always get the harvest bowl, cause it is the collective number one i think it would be good to try the miso bowl number two is obviously the harvest bowl it is the crowd favorite no you can't really go wrong with the harvest bowl number three is crispy rice bowl not crispy chicken crispy rice it is really really good as well number four is chicken pesto parm just a cult classic number five is the hot honey chicken plate a lot of people are surprised that the hot honey chicken plate it's not a salad it's like chicken and quinoa and <clears throat> it has like a little side salad and then a lot of potatoes so it's super hearty six is potato salad salad it's also on their seasonal menu and it is a vegetarian option but i was pleasantly surprised by it i, I had really low expectations number seven is buffalo chicken salad it legit tastes like buffalo chicken uh, number eight is fish taco the healthiest thing on their menu number nine is chicken tostada and number 10 is guacamole greens so that's my top 10 ranking and let's go over total costs so this week all added up together was 72.61 and so for the whole month it was around 20 250 dollars it was pretty expensive but we expected that for final conclusions my start weight was 134 134 and I ended with 129 so I lost five pounds <clears throat> and I don't know if you guys think it was worth it to you know spend almost $300 on salads every single day and lose five pounds in a month maybe it's because I'm getting older I feel like when I was younger I would lose weight much faster but I was eating salad every single day and I was I was still only losing five pounds for the whole month yeah I don't know is that good or bad other conclusions by week three and four, I was kind of getting sick of salad, even though it was just once a day. What, the bloating still comes back for me, I realized. Maybe because they use a lot of like salt or something, but certain salads, if I ate it for dinner, it didn't make me bloat. But overall, I was, I'm was i happy that I tried the Sweet Pass. I honestly think if you get Sweet Green a lot, it's worth getting $3 off. Just paying $10 and getting $3 off because you'll make back your ten dollars after just eating like three sweet greens but yeah overall losing five pounds is nice i wish i lost ten um i'm still bloated sometimes but I i'm i'm glad that like i know how to get rid of some of the bloating it's like i can just eat a salad for dinner but i'm gonna try to make my own food now <laughs> um i did eventually get a little sick of it but the variety really really helped it was pretty expensive 250 i would say if you get so you can every single day it would be around 300 because as you guys know i only had it for five to six days instead of like all seven days but yeah that's like my final conclusions thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys tune in next month for the next challenge i haven't figured out what that's going to be yet but i think it'll be really great i love doing these challenges for you so if you have any ideas on what i should do next throughout the year i'll be continuing this all throughout 2022 and i think that's it for me for now i'll talk to you guys in the next video bye